We've seen from our analysis that um, unfortunately the Southeast Asian region seems to be um, performing to a lower level than some other regions across the world in the, the use of biometric data and the sharing of that across the region uh, against a common threat which we know at the moment is counter-terrorism as one example um, of the, the criminal uh, threats that are out there. And so the purpose of this capacity building uh, activity in the IGCI complex this week is to try and First of all, make the communities aware that they are um, not possibly sharing uh, biometric uh, data in a uh, more conjoined way to bring about uh, the detection of the threat and also then to remind them of new techniques and new capabilities that they can deploy, like we've seen both on the, the maritime sector, which we've been uh, training them on this week, um, but also as well on more land-based uh, uh, activities, which includes also, unfortunately, disaster victim identification which is the identification of the deceased from a, a major fatality or incident like a cancer terrorism explosion. The benefits of Interpol and the IGCI has demonstrated that it has the ability to bring um, not only just regional but global partners together. Thanks to the investments of Canada, we've worked very collaboratively with ASEAN and also with ASEANAPOL um, to put this event on this week and uh, to improve the training capacity building in the region. ASEANAPOL um, has started to develop a forensic network for the region and we've been able to project into that our regional forensic and biometric strategy which we'll be pushing forward now over the next couple of years to improve capability for the region um, to particularly uh, identify and track the counter-terrorism threat in the region but also there'll be derived benefits from that into the other um, more traditional crime groups of human trafficking, um, criminal gangs and other forms of exploitation. Through the United Nations, particularly uh, Resolution 2178, we've seen um, a refocusing of international attention and the use of Interpol and its global capabilities. Uh, we spent over 100 years developing these. As we know, we celebrated the centenary last year. Um, but importantly, it's that marriage between the classic data of uh, stolen lost travel document uh, uh, databases and nominal data married with the biometrics that empowers law enforcement to detect threats going through regional uh, hubs or border control points. Um, but also, as we saw with the Maritime, um, which is somewhat of a forgotten trading area or transit route, uh, the opportunity for those to be better policed using this capability as well.